Hello guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So it wasn't actually my plan to do something tiny for today. I was initially planning on doing something a little bit bigger because I do realize that everyone's been building a lot of tiny houses lately, myself included. I mean, I also built a lot of tiny houses before Tiny Living came out, so I feel like it's just a bit more now, but still, I love to build tiny houses, so anyways. But it wasn't, it wasn't my plan to build another one for today, but I sat down yesterday and first of all, I promised during Tiny Loving release that I was gonna build a trailer with the new pack. I never got around to do it, so I felt like building a micro trailer and, or at least, I don't really know if it, if it looks like a proper trailer to be honest, but it was supposed to look like a proper trailer anyways. And then I also wanted to decorate something in a very industrial kind of interior style because I've been looking at a lot of furniture lately for my apartment, just getting inspired and stuff for what I want on the walls. And a lot of the stuff that I come by is like, it's kind of mid-century modern mixed with industrial. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's the only way that I can explain it. I just, I like that mix a little bit. So I've been looking at a lot of that stuff and I really feel like decorating something that is, or was, is, whatever, industrial. So that is what we're doing today. We are basically building this very micro, very tiny, teeny house and, or trailer, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to decorate it in a very industrial kind of interior style. So I had a lot of fun with this one. I am desperately trying to not go too crazy with my voice today because for some reason it cracks and I'm not really sure why but it's it's an issue when you're doing voiceovers so lucky thing this voiceover isn't too long as well it's only 12 minutes for me or maybe 11 or something so anyways but yeah let me know how you guys are doing today i don't usually upload on mondays because i just don't i like to have my sunday evenings off but i didn't upload yesterday so i felt like uploading today instead so it's a little bit different, it feels a little bit weird, but there should be another video going up tomorrow. I'll probably do a tutorial and then build something a little bit bigger for Wednesday, I think. So I don't know what to do a tutorial on, but I do have a list in my notebook with a lot of different tutorial ideas written down. So I'll probably grab one of those and get started after this is, uh, is actually no, I want to edit a build tutorial that I have for my second channel for Minecraft. But after that, I'm going to record the tutorial for... That's a whole lot of tutorial. I don't know what's going on with me these days anyways. <laughs> but I'm going to do that for tomorrow for this channel. So it'll be a sim tutorial. Don't worry. Anyways. But yeah, if you got any ideas, if there's anything you've seen me do, if there is any kind of trick that you're not really sure on how to do as well, let me know. And I will write it down in my book and eventually get to it at some point. So I'll do a video on it and explain it in real time. Taking my time. Take it a little bit slow. And hopefully you guys can understand what I'm trying to explain in the video. But yeah, let me know if there's anything you want me to teach you or however you say that. I'm not really sure. So anyways, for this house, the kitchen is super small. They don't have a sink in the kitchen. I feel like every time I either leave out the sink in the bathroom, I get comments on that. But if I leave it out in the kitchen, I get comments on that too. Technically with micro homes or tiny houses, you don't need a sink in both the kitchen and the bathroom. You can actually just leave it out in one of them. That makes up a whole, like that takes up a whole tile. Technically in the bathroom, it only takes up half a tile, but you know, whatever, details. Uh, so technically you only need one, just one sink in a tiny house. You don't need two. So I decided to give them a dishwasher, which is something a lot of you have mentioned to me is actually possible instead of adding a, adding a sink. I suppose it's better for gameplay too, because your sims will... Actually, when I play tested this, my sim still went to the sink in the bathroom to clean up the dishes. Apparently, she's not lazy when it comes to dishes. She doesn't just put them in the dishwasher. I would have done that, but you know... Me and Faye are not the same, <laughs> but she basically, yeah, she still does the dishes in the sink, but your Sims will be able to just do the dishes in the dishwasher. And then when they've, you know, done their business in the bathroom, they can just use the sink out there. So the kitchen is fully functional. I did put a mini fridge in there because I also wanted to make sure that they had room for a microwave just to give them some more opportunities when it came to food. 
and the bathroom is fully functional too. I find that using the Discover University showers has helped me immensely when it comes to tiny houses. They are so practical because they don't actually take up a tile. Technically, they just, they don't take up any tiles because you just put them on the wall and your sim can, you know, walk through it. And that is brilliant. So I just, I think you have to be careful placing anything on top of it. But the fact that your sim can walk through it instead of, you know, having to walk around a shower stall is amazing for tiny houses and also micro houses. So that is brilliant. I've been using that quite a lot lately, as you've probably noticed, but it's such a good item for these kinds of houses. Also, I forgot to say this at the start of the video. I feel like that's a theme lately. I don't really know what's going on, but we are building in Oasis Springs and we're building on a 20 by 15. I've been building a lot of houses in Oasis Springs lately and I'm not really sure why. I don't actually like to build here because the lighting is super annoying, but I found a way to kind of avoid the yellow light for thumbnails so now i don't mind it too much <laughs> i don't really know why that's the deciding factor but yeah anyways also because a lot of the tiny houses like trailers for example or mid-century modern houses that are easy to make as tinier tinier houses <laughs> as tiny houses and also micro homes they just fit in better here in oasis springs so you can either build here in these there are two lots two 20 by 15s in the desert area so the sandy area but there's also one or two, I don't remember, but there's at least one in the more grassy kind of area. So there's just, it's just nice to build tiny houses here, apparently. I don't really know why. I'll probably be building more trailers in the future because I love to build these houses, but let me know if you got any themes for them. If there is any kind of style you want me to decorate a trailer in, let me know. Of course, I'll also be building the exterior according to the theme, but it's mostly like it's mostly the interior that matters when it comes to themes does that make any sense also by the way i did picture the sims in this house or in this trailer micro home whatever we call this house whatever build yes i pictured them to be very creative which is why i actually placed a microphone and also a guitar over in one of the corners so they have that to have fun with and I also placed a laptop here. So I imagine one of them to be a freelance writer or possibly a journalist. They could also be a crit critic of some sort. Um, and then the other one is a struggling musician that kind of wants to make it. So yeah, that's basically what I imagine them to be, even though the interior does look a little bit on the nicer side, but the house itself is really small. So <laughs> I feel like it would be okay for them to, you know, Budget-wise, it kind of makes sense. Just ignore that the house in simoleons is actually quite expensive. I don't know how to stick to a budget when it comes to simoleons, so it's just because I like a lot of decor, basically. <laughs> so just ignore that, but other than that, I feel like this house does suit that sort of household, if you get what I mean, so. I also want to give a bit of a warning to those of you who are expecting a lot of bigger builds coming up on the channel within the next couple of weeks. There won't be because I have to pre-record because I am going away for a weekend and after that I'm also going to Paris for a couple of days so I won't have time to build like 40 by 30s for example or anything bigger than that so there'll probably be more tiny houses more trailers probably a couple of apartments too going up within the next couple of weeks but nothing major no mansions watch me make a mansion for the weekend anyways and just completely disregard everything that i said in this voiceover but still i'm not planning on it but I st if, if inspiration hits of course i'll do it but i just uh, it would be typical of me to just not follow my plans at all and suddenly be sitting here stressed out because i want to finish this on time <laughs> also don't take me too seriously when i say stressed out i just i, I mean it in a joking kind of way you know jokingly kind you get what I mean. Anyways, so lastly, we're doing some landscaping around the house. I did place a patio terrace area on top of the house. I didn't count that as cheating because the house, the interior is fully playable as is. So there is a kitchen, there's a dining area, or there's a table with two chairs and a bed and so on and so on. So the outside is just extra basically and that's why I decided to build it in a way that it wouldn't count as tiles. I could have built it so it did count as tiles but I chose not to because of that. So the house, the interior, 
makes the house fully playable on its own. Everything on the outside is just extra. I didn't even place laundry outside. I took one of the debug items, this one, from Island Living, and it's not playable. It doesn't work or anything. It's just decor, but I felt like it would just be cute decor, you know? So also because I've not been able to fit in laundry machines in any of my micro homes. I suppose if I had turned this one into a micro home for just one sim and no pets, for example, I could have possibly fit in a laundry machine somewhere, but I decided not to. I decided to turn this into a house for two sims instead. So that has been a little bit of a struggle. I suppose if I'd taken out one of the bookcases, I could have placed them there, but Again, I felt like that sort of interior just fit the Sims living in this house, so I kind of went with that instead. It's just about prioritization or priorities or however you say that. You get what I mean, so. But this is the last thing that we are doing. We're just placing a couple of items up here on top of the trailer. So they have a couple of plant pots here. There's some decor from Backyard Stuff Pack, and I also decided to give them a picnic table along with a grill. I know it's a little bit weird to have a grill on top of a trailer, but I felt like it would be cute. And also they could have friends over and they could sit up there and enjoy the weather until it starts raining or possibly thundering and Faye will get hit again and she'll possibly turn into another ghost. I don't really know. But anyways, that's about it for today. So if you guys like this house or this micro home trailer, build whatever we call it. You can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!